Hey guys, and welcome to our review for Knives Out, directed by Ryan Johnson, starring <coughs> Daniel Craig, Chris Evans, Anna de Armas, Jamie Lee Curtis, Michael Shannon, Don Johnson, Tony Collette, Lakeith Stanfield, Catherine Langford, Jaden Martell, and Christopher Plummer. Good job. Great My job. name is Scott Ellis. I'm joined here by Phil Clark. That's a lot of people. You did yeah. a good job. It was a, it was a mouthful. Um, also joining us, Adam Franey. Mm-hmm. Glad you can make it. You did all the talking for the both of us. Yeah. Uh, Knives Out, uh, we watched at TIFF this year. Yeah. Indeed. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to start off. Oh. I really enjoyed this film. This guy's jumping in. Um, I guess we we can get into a synopsis. Do you have a synopsis? For yeah. <laughs> you can do that. Good idea. If you want, unless you want to get right into Let it. Let me run down the synopsis. Uh, oh, you, I'm you ready. Fill I'm good. Shit. Little letterbox synopsis. A family gathering goes horribly awry when the patriarch dies, and two detectives are sent in to investigate. Death to the patriarchy. Down with the patriarchy, baby. 2019. Um, Yeah, I really enjoyed this film. I thought it was very funny. I will say the audience that we were with was dying laughing. They were drugged before... They're giving fucking bath Nit- salts. Nitrous oxide. Yeah. A lot, a lot of the moments that I thought were like, that's, <laughs> that's humorous, were like, <laughs> um, nose exhale. Like, <laughs> yeah. But audience is like, Joker, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but I mean, I did really enjoy it. Um, you know, I think it's, it was nice for Ryan Johnson to go back to something on this sort of uh, scale after doing Last Jedi. Just sort of, uh, you know, flex his, you know, he chops a little bit. Um, but yeah, I thought everyone was great in this. I really like Anna Darmus. Uh, mm. She was very good in this. Yeah. Um, Puke queen. Yeah. Ooh. Um, Daniel Craig just handed up. I loved him in this. Oh, as Benoit f- Blanc. Uh, <laughs> basically, uh, Hercule Poirot, like uh, Murder on the Orient Express style. Oh, but good, yeah. Um, yeah, I just loved his character, <laughs> and they have that stated idea. that they're planning on uh, doing a, a sort of spin-off with his character, so I'm really looking forward to that. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just thought it just fit, you know, it's like, it's like, it is like an Agatha Christie murder mystery, and uh, it, he just fits, he fits the sort of mold perfectly. Um, Perfect. And I just loved sort of all the different reveals. There, there was, I don't know, there was a lot of jokes that just, I don't know, were just perfectly set up and revealed... Um, I thought the structure was great in the early on about the sort of interviewing mm. of all the different family members. I thought the way that was sort of structured, I don't mm, know, yeah. it was very effective. And uh, I'm not going to lie, I did kind of see, I could sort of predict where it was going. Um, what do you mean? As far as... The end? The who of or the... Or the who... The... Like who was guilty, who was not, like I kind of... I kind of see... I don't want to spoil, obviously. Yeah, we'll get into spoilers. The but early reveal? Yeah, I could kind of... I, I could kind of sense it. Um, that th- there were sort of these false leads, a lot of it. Yeah. Um, as well, there's some scenes where, like... Um, with Anna de Armas' character and Christopher Plummer, there's some scenes where I'm like, okay, I can see what's going on here. I, I, again, I don't want to say too much, but... Um, I guess that would be one downside, is sort of, you know, a little bit straightforward. I think some of the the later twists, well, not like essential twists, but like interesting, like, huh, I didn't see that coming, but it wasn't yeah. like, didn't change the like whodunit aspect. Yeah. Um, we'll get into those as well. Um, but yeah, overall, I was thoroughly entertained by this film. Um, I think it's just a crowd pleaser, you know, it's just one of those movies you know, huge cast and just got, you know, something for everyone. You yeah. Know? Um, yeah, I just really enjoyed it. What do you, what do you guys think? Phil, let's start with you. Um, I pretty much write along with you. Like, I don't think you said anything I disagree with. I thought it looked great. I would say that. Like, I thought it was very well shot. Um, yep. Very stark colors, contrast, that like circle of the knives that everyone was sitting in the center of. Which um, I never explained what never the explained. hell that was about. <laughs> But most where the most they had to bring out. all the knives out because yeah, literally, yeah, the, literally. The, the titular knives um, were out. The characters were wonky, and I love that. Um, it felt very bizarre, but just at the point of like, 
believability. Like it was, yeah. it was so extreme, but it wasn't so extreme that it's like no way these people like, are real. It's like yeah, it's like that's Colonel Mustard. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> with the whatever with a rope. Like yeah, yeah, none of that. I I thought it was funny. Um, I laughed kind of like you guys. I was like, huh. And then people around me were <laughs> scream yeah. laughing. Um, but there were Crowd some pleaser, right? but there were some jokes that I laughed at like pretty hard. I I can't. It was a while ago that we saw it, so I'm trying to think of some. But I just remember the dog like running up with like the lattice like in his mouth. Like, yeah, right. Stuff just like fucking that. loving that and like. There's some I know, there's some good humor in this movie. The puke um, gag. The puke gag like was that? great. Yeah, yeah, the puke gag is pretty good. <laughs> the gag. The piano too was pretty fucking funny at the beginning when he just. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I lost just, it. It was good. Who is um, that? who is that? Yeah, I I don't think it was super complex. Didn't like, wasn't like trying to completely pull the wool over your eyes. It was the right amount of. It was the right amount of twisting, I think, but it wasn't so convoluted that I was like, "What is actually happening?" Thought it was pretty accessible. Wasn't pretty forced. nice. It's yeah. definitely one of those movies that you see and you're like, you enjoy it, and you could like recommend it to anybody because you feel like anybody would have a good time with it, yeah. which is like a really it, not like a bad thing to say about a movie. It's like just like very accessible, very nice, very fun. I could definitely see it becoming like a cult. Yeah, cult classic. Oh, yeah. Like, 100% worth the price of admission. So I, I enjoyed it. I thought Ryan Johnson did a great job stepping out of uh, Star Wars and just throwing... I don't know if he threw this together, if it was, like, long in production, but he just I think he did a pretty good job just putting it all together. Cool. Adam, what are your thoughts about Knives Out? I fucking love Knives Out. I had a blasty blast at Knives Out. Um, I am so happy that Ryan Johnson is, like, being redeemed after the star wars cyberbullying. yeah like seriously i just love it as a middle finger to all the last jedi trolls yeah that like i agree i because if you go on his twitter right now someone's saying you ruined star wars kill yourself to him right as we speak i'm sure <laughs> and i just love that like because i've seen all these arguments and argue with people all the time and it's like yes he did a critically acclaimed great film like thank god and it's with the same crew as Last Jedi and everything. But Knives Out had a blast. Thought it was... I wasn't, like, cackling like the rest of our crowd, but it was very I was fun. laughing. It was witty. Yeah. It, amazingly written. Like, he wrote it. Super witty. Yeah. So witty. So much wit. The I, most wit. I love the, the story. <laughs> like, there's no... There's, there's movies I love that are, like, miserable oh. to watch. Like, Joker, I would say, is one. Yeah. This is the opposite. Son of Saul. Yeah, right. This is like snappy. We're moving. Like uh, everything's coming it's together. Like, okay, there's all these motives. Like, yeah. you know, all this stuff. All these moving parts. Like it's not a slog at all. It's just like the perfect fun watch. Like you said, I think it's already a cult classic. I feel like. Well, it's not out yet, but when it comes out, it's going to be like Clue yeah. or something. Like instantly. It's better than Clue. <laughs> I haven't even seen Clue, but I know it's called Classic. Clue is Clue is good, but this is this better. is better. Good. Yeah, to be honest, and that's the thing. Like, I will admit, it didn't reinvent the wheel. Like, it is pretty. You could it's box within the it murder in. mystery box. Yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> JJ, uh, it's definitely like firmly in the genre, but there's nothing wrong with that. It's just so fucking well made. I loved every character, loved every performance. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just had a blast. It was so fun. <laughs> and I don't want to reveal any spoilers, obviously. I would love if they do a sequel. I don't It's like Ryan Johnson talking about directing it or... I don't know if they spin-off. went that far. I think they're just talking about... Um, they want to do a Benoit Blanc, <laughs> like, you know, follow-up. Just follow right. his adventures. Like, like uh, you know, Hercule, Poirot. Yeah, it's interesting that they sort of have like a rivaling murder mystery franchise. Yeah, we got Murder on the Nile coming up. Yeah. I don't know what is, what is this going to be. Guns out. What are they going to do? <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> Guns out. I like that a lot. What else? Oh, um, what else could you do? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Because it's got to like I don't know if they tie the name in somehow or knives yeah, away. I, I don't know. Pretty, <laughs> yeah. Knives in. Knives in. <laughs> Yeah. Let's get let's give our ratings <laughs> and we can uh, get into some spoiler talk perhaps. It's one of those ones where it's like you don't you can't really say much, like until spoiler. Yeah. yeah. Going clean is what I'm saying. Please. Um. I'm gonna go 
It's a solid four. It's a oh. solid four to five. I'm also going to give it four or five. A solid four. A solid four. I, you me- Adam, you mentioned the word love. You did say love. I think I said the word perfect at one point. <laughs> you know what that means? Five bang, baby. We're going Damn. full tiff five star. I fucking love this movie. Damn. I have nothing bad to say about it. Damn. So there's that. Got uh, first I had Parasite. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Parasite's a five. No, Knives Out, five. Knives Out's five. All five Knives are out, bud. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Well, fair warning, if you haven't seen Knives Out, I'm sure you haven't. Um, Go check it out. Probably Check it out not. when it comes out. Stop Sweet watching these five. So awesome. you've been warned, we'll be discussing see. some spoilery aspects. And Adam. Um, honestly, there's not a whole lot to say. I don't know if we need to break it down too much, to be honest. No. Um, I kind of like that they didn't focus on like the actual murder event, if that makes sense. They kind of focused on the series of events that led to it. Yeah, I feel like the, the who done it yeah. wasn't the like end-all, be-all of the movie, Yeah, which is kind of nice. And I liked how it kind of ended with like, kind of how... Um, it wasn't a murder. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It, was, that too, can yeah. Talk about it that. wasn't even a murder. It was a uh, suicide. Suicide. And like, I thought, I kind of thought that from the beginning, but the way they revealed it, I thought it was so cool. Like, I love the, like showing you how it plays out and you think it's one way. And mm-hmm. then, and, uh, dear Maz, like reveals that it was actually a totally different way. And you're getting like all these different angles Oh, I just thought it was brilliant. And, like, Chris Evans. My favorite part of the movie was Chris Evans, the climax, of him mm. diving with the knife. Right, yeah. right. That was a great <laughs> gag. <laughs> it was just, like, the of all the knife. knives that he grabbed, he grabbed the fake knife. The fake. <laughs> the, like, prop knife. <laughs> it was so funny and, like, just so thrilling. I love that moment. And the crowd erupted. I think the crowd applauded. Yeah. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. Literal applause, like losing their shit. I, like I said, I love seeing everyone play against type also. Yeah. Like Chris Evans just being a douchebag. Just was being great. a complete scumbag piece of shit. Opposite of Captain America. Yeah. <laughs> I thought Jamie Lee Curtis was great as well. Yeah. She yes. Was, she was solid, really funny. Tony Collette Tony has Collette. like a Valley Girl, like airhead. Don yeah. Johnson was hilarious. It was just some, just Don Johnson, but. <laughs> yeah. There's some good political commentary because Ryan Johnson's like been going at the like MAGA crowd on Twitter and stuff. So he's like kind of worked that into the movie. So like, with Jaden Martell's character, I guess. Yeah. Is oh, that, he's a troll. He's that's like the youngest kid, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How about when uh, Ana de Armas is just getting called like a Puerto Rican the whole time? Oh my God, <laughs> yeah. Like, they, keep, they keep changing the country. Yeah, she's, yeah. She's, fucking, she's from Mexico. She's a hardworking Mexican yeah. immigrant from Puerto Rico. It's Poor just, girls like, from Uruguay. Yeah. <laughs> Every single time, it's a different place. Like, these people so that was, so a, that was a good, good running game. And I love the like last sh- like shot too. Oh fuck yeah! And she's standing on the the house, and they're all looking up at her, and she just like takes her coffee and just like yeah just sips it. What does it say on the cup again? It's like oh, my, house. my house, my house, my house, my rules. Right, right, right. That well, was like the bodying <laughs> of the year. I was like, oh, yeah, I love that. And just like any time where she bodied the family was great. Like when they first found were read the will and they're like chasing her out to her car and yeah. and then again the full circle at the end where she just destroys them all with the coffee sip was like magnifique it's great yeah just a blast of a film yeah it's definitely we'll gonna see. be enjoyed by many people um, i hope i hope everyone sees it yeah it's it's currently sitting at, at a, uh, a hot 99 percent on oh. rotten tomatoes so, uh, yeah, it seems like it's going to be a crowd pleaser. So I think that'll do it for our review of Knives Out. Uh, Phil, where can people find you? you? Find me on Letterboxd at Wicked Swami. Very nice. Mm-hmm. You can find me on Twitter at Franny25 and Instagram and Letterboxd at UpRealAdam. Find myself, Scott, on Letterboxd at UpRealScott. As well, you can uh, follow us on Instagram, Facebook at UpRealA Podcast. As well, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below in the comment section. And, of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. And as always, keep it real.